program is a set of instructions that tells the computer to perform a specific task. Every line of code tells the computer to do something. A programming language is a language used to create programs. In this lesson, we will be using Python to give instruction to the computer. This means, can we do anything with our computer? Yeah, but with limits. Everything involves giving instructions. For example, in the YouTube, when you click the play button on the video, and the video start playing, right? So, how does it work? There is a program working behind the scene, which tells the computer to turn on this video when a user click the play button. Okay? That's it. To write program, we need a Python interpreter and a code editor. BS Code is the best option for most developers. Head over to bezelstudio.com and install it on your computer. Next, we need to install Python interpreter to run our code in the computer. Head over to python.org and download the latest version of Python and just click on this button and install it on your computer. Now, go to Visual Studio. I'm gonna create a new folder called Python Starter or whatever you want. Lastly, we we'll need an extension to run our code in BS Code. Click this extension panel and search for Python. Here it is. Created by Microsoft and over 29 million downloads. Just click the install and wait a moment until it's finished. So far, we are ready to write some code. Let's start with the Hello World program. We want to display Hello World on the output screen. To tell the computer to write on the screen like Hello World, we need the print statement. Whatever we want to display, we need to write inside the brackets and includes within double quotes. Now, to see our results, we need to go terminal and run python output pi that we have created earlier. See Hello World in the output. Fantastic. We write our fast python program. To summarize this lesson, we learned a program is a set of instructions. Print statement is used to execute our code in the output screen. The text to be printed inside the double quotes. Hope you enjoyed this lesson. Next video next week. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.